All right there, ghouls and ghoulettes, we got another review for you tonight. Uh, whiskey review this time, Scotch Whiskey Single Malt Scotch. This is Smokehead. Now, there are a couple versions of Smokehead. This is the one where they do not list the actual age of the expression. Uh, here in Nova Scotia, at the NSLC, retails for $49.86. That's actually a fairly damn good price, considering where the malt, the region the malt comes from for this one. Uh, the malt for this one is an actual Isla malt. Uh, the thing though, and this is from the Ian McLeod uh, distillers, they do not list which malt they use. There's been some speculation online as to which malt they use and I think it's been pinned down fairly well. Uh, I will give my own amateur opinion of what it may be once we get into it. They have another expression called Extra Black which is 18 years old and I think they might have a couple others I'm not quite sure. You might notice the fancy design on the tin here and we'll take the whiskey out and then show you the tin and the whiskey label is very similar. Smokehead Islay uh, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. I always do that. As you can see, they got all these descriptors all over this. This is obviously marketed towards a younger audience, trying to attract younger people into drinking uh, more extreme uh, Scotch whiskeys. Sip, balance, deep, kick, explosive, seaweedy, briny, rich, long finish. Phenolic, outrageous, powerful, toffee, harmonious, briny, fresh, rich. It says smoke is a rich, seaweedy, and intensely peaty whiskey. Flavors fresh, fruity, mints, notes of sherry, iodine, toffee, smoke, blah, 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 blah. I gotta say, I really, really dislike it when a whiskey company does something like this with their packaging. When they put big descriptors on it like this, um, it's not helpful. All it does is train your brain before you even get into it that that is what you're tasting. I'd very much like to go into a whiskey not knowing what it's going to taste like and make up my own mind. That's just a little quibble with my, of my own. Um, 43% alcohol by volume, so it's a little bit bigger than, you know, your 40%. Uh, it's, of course, not cast strength or anything like that, but it's a little bit bigger. And this brewery, uh, our distillery, is actually kind of famous for associating themselves with BrewDog. Uh, BrewDog's uh, 2008 Paradox Stout, which is a series of stouts that they release, um, that in every year it ages in a different whiskey barrel. Uh, they're 2008 aged in the whiskey barrels that Smokehead uses. So we'll pour a little bit here. Should be good. As you can see it doesn't look like there's any caramel coloring or anything like that so that's nice. It's very uh, nice golden amber kind of color. Good legs on the actual glass. Well, oh, I love I love legs that uh, they almost look like uh, like creases in a blanket or uh, something along those lines. So we'll go right to the aroma now. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice about this is it's a very bold, it's a very young whiskey. Um, I have only very limited experience with scotch. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm still an amateur. I'm still just learning my way through these things. Um, but I have been focusing a lot on Isla malts, and I am fairly familiar with them now, I think. And this definitely smells like a quite a young Isla malt, younger than uh, Lefroig's Quarter Cask, in fact. Uh, Lefroig's Quarter Cask, I believe, is an eight year. This, I think, is younger. Um, right up front, you got a big hit of 
brininess, iodine, uh, honey. Um, there's a bit of a sherry sweetness there from sherry cask kind of smell. Uh, you get the wood, you get the vanilla, uh, and then the, of course there's that big peat. This is that big peat wallop, big phenolic smoky peat wallop right in your nose. Stings the nose. Alcohol, I must say though, isn't all that present. Uh, fairly well masked, I, I must say. All the other flavors are jumping out at you and kind of masking the alcohol. And my initial impression, just from smelling it, I have to say it's probably Ardbeg. That's what it smells like to me. Now, some said uh, Legavolin. I believe that's, I'm pronouncing that correctly. I have not had that yet, so I don't know. Uh, but this is what that smells like to me. It smells like Ardbeg because it's got that sweetness there to it that um, Ardbeg has that Laphroaig doesn't quite have. And if you're going for an Isla Malt, you're probably going to go for Ar Ardbeg or Laphroaig before you go anywhere else. So it, it's more in the line of Ardbeg, maybe even Talisker or something like that, but I'm, I'm going to say it's probably Ardbeg. So we're going to go to the taste now. Very sweet up front. Um, starts out with a slight honeyish flowery sweetness, fruity. Immediately goes into this big brininess, uh, seaweed, seawater, a bit of iodine, kind of sting to it. Um, and then it finishes with this just big waff, peat, just smashing you in the face. Um, and the alcohol again, you don't get the alcohol until it's gone down your throat into your chest and started to warm you up. That I'm very impressed with. Uh, that's pretty good for a very young whiskey. And I gotta say it's probably about six years. Uh, that's just my amateur guess. Probably about six years old. Maybe. Maybe even a bit younger, you never know. Mmm brash, in your face, uh, fairly damn complex for what it is. Um, man, I like it. I do like it. Um, it's not quite quality wise, it's not quite up there with Ardbeg or Laphroaig or anything like that. Uh, honestly, if given the choice of a young Isla Malt, I'd probably, I'd, I'd still pick Laphroaig Quarter Cask over this. The big plus is that this is very well priced for an Isla. Uh, compare, compare this to Laphroaig, here in Canada at least, where Smoke Hit is 49.86 for 750 milliliters. A uh, similar size bottle of Laphroaig Quarter Cask is 72 some dollars. Uh, so this is fairly damn affordable for a very good quality scotch. Uh, there's nothing really bad about it other than it's quite young probably would be much nicer of some maturity uh, I think maybe adding a little bit of water to this one would probably soften it a bit uh, I'm not doing that tonight I don't really need to I'm looking for a little bit more tonight and you know I'm drinking so I, I, I want that peaty smash in my face I want those extreme flavors um, get past the marketing, get past the gimmicks. Uh, Smoke Hid is a very, very solid, excellent Scotch whiskey, and it's worth looking at if you're, uh, you know, you got an extra fifty dollars laying around, or wherever you live, maybe it's only an extra forty dollars, considering the uh, booze prices here in Canada are, are retardedly high. Okay, guys. So, uh, good drinking to you. Uh, I'm going to be doing Jim Bean Black here soon. That's probably going to be the next booze review. And then I'm going to be doing Absentee Absinthe. I know someone requested that one as well as the Jim Bean Black. 
and see I do follow through with my requests uh, it just takes me a damn long while sometimes so okay guys we'll see you later and uh, have a good one